Implied volatility. It's a term that's talked about a lot with options. Indeed, some options traders quote um, implied volatility uh, sometimes uh, rather than the price of the option. So it's important that we understand what the implied volatility is for an option. Basically, the volatility that we always refer to is the volatility of the underlying commodity return. So we say, what is the volatility of IBM? What we're referring to are the, um, the volatility of the returns for IBM. And for option pricing, we always look at continuous returns. So it would be the log of the price today divided by the price yesterday would be the return, the daily return. The implied volatility is a special measure. And let me tell you exactly how we derive it. There's a market price that the option is trading at. And there is an option pricing model called the Black-Scholes model. And basically, we've got almost all of the determinants of the Black-Scholes. We know what the stock price is. We know what the exercise price is. We know what the time to expiration is. We know what the interest rate is. And we also know if there's any dividends that are about to be paid. Five things that we know. The only thing that we don't know for sure is the volatility. So this is how it works. We can try different levels of volatility in the Black-Scholes model until the Black-Scholes model delivers a price for the call option that is exactly equal to the price that we observe in the market. This volatility is called the implied volatility. Now, this might seem very similar to what we did with yield to maturity. Because remember, with yield to maturity, what we did is we had a bond with a series of coupons and a final principal, and we had a bond price that we saw today. And we tried different interest rates to discount the bond cash flows back to the present value. And we tried those different interest rates until we hit the value of the bond from the discounting that equaled exactly equal to the value of the bond that we saw trading in the market. And this we called the yield to maturity or the internal rate of return. And it is exactly analogous to what we're doing with the implied volatility. The implied volatility comes from the Black-Scholes formula, which is a nonlinear function. The yield to maturity comes from the bond pricing function, which is a nonlinear function. And we do trial and error until we get the Black-Scholes formula to deliver a price that exactly equals the market price of the call option. Now, it's rather interesting when we get that volatility, it is the market's assessment of what the volatility will be in the future for the underlying security. So just like the yield to maturity tells us something about what people expect interest rates to be in the future, the Black-Scholes implied volatility tells us about what people think the volatility of the underlying commodity return will be in the future.